Hey everybody, welcome to Cryptopia. Unfortunately, I don't have time today to make a video. So I'm gonna be turning you over to our good friend, John Bender, creating you some top quality AI videos. And it gives me some much needed time to catch up on things I need to do around the house and the hotel, spend some time with my little kids, maybe go tubing, bake some cookies, and you know, all the stuff that a parent needs to do. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please hit that like and subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, and check out our channel and uh, watch some of the videos that I actually have time to create. And just so you know, everything you see on these channels, on this channel, and any crypto channel is not financial advice. So do your own research and your own due diligence. All right, everybody, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. If you're new to the world of cryptocurrency, you probably have heard of both proof of stake and proof of work. These two concepts are essential to cryptocurrency transactions and security. They are key components of blockchain technology and how it works. Proof of stake and proof of work are known as consensus mechanisms. Both, in different ways, help ensure users are honest with transactions, through incentivizing good actors and making it extremely difficult and expensive for bad actors. This reduces fraud such as double spending. To understand what the difference is between proof of work versus proof of stake, it helps to know a bit about mining. In proof of work, verifying cryptocurrency transactions is done through mining. In proof-of-stake, validators are chosen based on a set of rules depending on the stake they have in the blockchain, meaning how much of that token they commit to locking up to have a chance to be chosen as a validator. In either case, the cryptocurrencies are designed to be decentralized and distributed, which means that transactions are visible to and verified by computers worldwide. Computers on the network have to agree on what happened to verify transactions. If a computer tries to manipulate or commit fraudulent transactions on a network, it will be known through the public, immutable nature of the blockchain. Both consensus mechanisms have economic consequences that penalize malicious actors who try to disrupt the network. Proof of work versus Proof of stake, which is better? Proof of work is a competition between miners to solve cryptographic puzzles and validate transaction in order to earn block rewards. Proof of stake implements randomly chosen validators to make sure the transaction is reliable, compensating them in return with crypto. Each choice has unique advantages and disadvantages. Downsides of proof of work Proof of work requires a significant amount of energy to verify transactions. Since the computers on the network must spend a lot of energy and operate a lot, the blockchain is less environmentally friendly than other systems. Another problem some raise is that because of the competition between miners for rewards, a small number of mining pools control the blockchain, a kind of de facto centralization. It is important to note though that mining pools are made up of individual miners or smaller groups of miners who are free to pull their hash power if they no longer agree with the direction of the larger mining pool. Downsides of proof of stake The main issue with proof of stake is that it requires an often enormous initial investment. You must purchase enough of the native token of that cryptocurrency to qualify to be a validator, which is dependent on the size of the network. In theory, people must be wealthy or earn enough money to buy a network stake, leading to an exclusively rich blockchain. As cryptocurrencies rise in market value, this issue could become worse. Which one should you choose? Proof of stake and proof of work both have pros and cons, and it's important to acknowledge that no system is perfect. Every system has its strengths and weaknesses, and which one you think is better ultimately depends on your point of view. In the end, it isn't an either slash or choice and both consensus mechanisms will be part of cryptocurrency for the long term. Hey everybody, I truly hope you enjoyed this video from John Bender. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on that bell notification. And make sure you check out some of the other videos that I actually filmed and I shot. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Also, join our free Telegram and Discord. You're not going to want to miss all the amazing opportunities we have over there. Have a great day, Cryptopians.